All right, guys, day two. Got my 2020 GMC Sierra Elevation. Uh, made some progress last weekend. Uh, I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Uh, nothing too much on the front. I got most of it torn apart. It's actually kind of funny. I went for a ride with the wife. She's like, my side's not together over here. So I got the Dyne Audios up on the fronts. So the dash is done. So the three and tweet is up there. Gonna get a nice reflection right off the windshield. This door is not done, it still, still says Bose. Gotta get rid of that. All right, rear doors are not done. Front passenger door is done. So we got wire back here from the front, parts. This is gonna go bye-bye. Uh, and I'm gonna, probably gonna end up cutting this right about here. Uh, got about 10 inches of height to the seat in the front which make great room for the eights um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I got these cubbies probably gonna have to cut the back side of the cubby out when I get the back seat out for the amplifiers and everything to go behind um, yeah. power wire I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do over here I think I'm actually gonna put the circuit breaker right here and then feed it back around and then go through the firewall. Um, this door is done. As you see, it says Dyne Audio, because that's what's in there. Got all three wires, kind of cool. I didn't think I was gonna be able to run wire through the actual grommet, and I was. Uh, at the bottom side of the clip, there's enough room for this uh, 14 gauge wire to go through. I'm gonna take the factory amplifier tuner module out of there, or factory deck tuner, tuner module out of there. I'm gonna try to hide the uh, Pioneer module there. Now, I took a gamble. They say that this cable doesn't work for this deck, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So this is the Pioneer deck for the 8600NX. Uh, have everything wired, ready to go. Uh, dogs are going nuts. So this is supposed to connect to the screen directly right here. But what I did is I got the Pioneer RGB extension cable to go from here to the screen. So the screen's actually still in the box right now. I don't want any chances of it getting damaged, broken, or anything. Just a real stickler on that stuff. Uh, I made a mistake. I thought I ordered enough speaker wire. Apparently I didn't. I had to get another 100 feet. Uh, hopefully that'll handle that front passenger door and the rest of the mids and highs. Hey guys, so doing the system in blue here, I gotta take the back seat out to get the amps and everything underneath. Uh, not knowing how this comes apart, I actually started taking out all the bolts for the lower seat section and I realized that the rear seat, the back seat, is different than the bottom of the seat. So what I'm gonna do is you have to actually pop out all the headrest holes and then you can there's three latches, the seat comes forward and lifts up. There's also 10 mils. There's four 10 mils across the bottom. So what I've just found out, I actually just watched a video and the guy's like, uh, you're gonna put this, and you're gonna pop this and pry up as hard as you can until they pop out. Well, after I got the first couple out, I realized how these actually work. Uh, if you look, this is the latch. And what you can do is, this is gonna be the front side because all the clips are on, facing, facing the passenger side. You're gonna get this to go in, and it's gonna go right into that notch, and then pull it forward. And that brings the clip out, and then it pops right up. Real easy. So, put it down the front, put it into the notch. So you get it into the notch. Just like so. You have no damage on the clip. It'll go back in without a problem. No struggle at all. This is going to be the fun part, is trying to get this unclipped.
I gotta say, it's probably the biggest back bolster section I've seen in a truck. Um, a spare plug for something down here. Uh, don't know what that guy is. I know this is the factory Bose amplifier, which technically I can unplug and take out because I'm not even retaining the deck in this car. Um, Pioneer 10 inch. Which I gotta say, turned out awesome, guys. That thing just looks sweet. Um, gonna have to fix all the wiring. I got it just temporary down there. So the Pioneer RGB 150 extension cable for the 10 inch down to the brain unit. And then you don't have to mount the brain right behind the screen. You can, what is it? I have some big ass amplifiers, so. I'll probably be taking both of these out. I gotta mount all the crossovers back here too. Or I'll do the two amps over here, get rid of the one vent. One should be enough. And all, all this is for, these are flaps for when you close the door so you don't get like that ear popping pressure in the vehicle. It allows you to stabilize. And if you notice, they all angle down, so if you get water in between them, it just goes down underneath the truck. It doesn't come inside. No water intrusion. Uh, I'm glad that they actually just have a small motor for the slide over here, and not all the way over here. That would have been a pain in the ass. So, yeah. 